Apostle Paul, writing to us from 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 16 and 17, says, Do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone defiles the temple of God, God will destroy him. For the temple of God is holy, which temple you are. The verse is not referring to your body, as many people would suppose. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 18 to 20 tells us that our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. But here in chapter 3, he's talking about the body, meaning the body of Christ, the church. He, he, means, he means all you all, if you would. He, do not know that all of you together corporately are the temple of God. And so that's who we are. And God protects his image within that setting in that temple. And I think we have a responsibility not to drag things into the body of Christ, into the church, those of us that are believers that are going to create drama and dissension and all of that. And so we do our best to stay on track with the scriptures. The other one is 1 Corinthians 6, 18 and 20, where he says, flee sexual immorality. Every sin that a man does is outside the body. But he who commits sexual immorality sins against his own body. Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own? For you were bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and your spirit, which are God's. So we're told that our body is the Holy Spirit uh, uh, temple, that we contain the Spirit of God. So if I make a decision to commit sexual immorality, I'm committing a sin against the Spirit of God as I drag him through because he's unfortunately for that occasion inside of me and part of me. And I actually bring a part of the triune God through my messy sinful behavior. We're exhorted not to drag our sin into this body of Christ and also not to have sin in our bodies and sin against our bodies. It says that the one who sins against the body is going to be destroyed by God. I think we destroy ourselves very often by allowing things in the body of Christ that don't belong there and things that we put into our body that don't belong there and especially for sexual immorality, is put in 1 Corinthians chapter 6. So, exhortation for today, be careful what you let into your body, your mind, your ears, your eyes, into your mouth, and into your life in the way of time or conversation or investment. I pray that this might give you consideration before making any further decisions going forward with the things that you might put into your life. Amen.